Hello and thanks for watching. We're here at the next episode. Today I want to talk about the irony of a chrono diver. By that I mean uh, dive watches that also have a built-in chronograph function. The reason why that's ironic is that uh, these type of watches you're going to end up paying a lot more because they're going to have a lot more complications than being a simple three-hander. For example, we'll talk about three different ones real quick. First up is this the uh, Omega Seamaster Diver 300M Coaxial GMT Chronograph. I know, a lot of words to say. But if you look at this, it's a dive watch with the iconic rotating bezel. This one also has a chronograph and a GMT function. So you have uh, a higher end uh, movement than what's going to be in your standard three-hander. Next up, Tag Heuer Aqua Racer. Now if you look at this Aqua Racer, this one is following that same pattern. It's a dive watch, it's a chronograph. But this guy here also has a date complication. And then finally, uh, the IWC Aqua Timer, which is one of my favorites because it has the internal rotating bezel. But yet again, they all have that similar design. It's a diver, but it's also a chronograph. These are gonna be uh, between, I guess, maybe 3,000 for the tag, all the way up to about seven, maybe, for the IWC. The problem with these three watches, the chrono divers, is that, well, if you're swimming, you can't use the chronograph underwater, which is what you would think you'd be able to do, right? Maybe you're gonna see how long it takes you to do a lap. All three of these watches, even though they're good quality, they're expensive, there is gonna be a chance for water to get into that case because they're not completely sealed, not the chronograph pushers. So what can happen is you can end up going for a swim, going to the beach or something, end up with water in your case, now you got a real big problem on your hands. But that's why I call it the irony of the chrono diver because it's a dive watch, but it's also a chronograph, but you really can't use the chronograph underwater. There's only one that I've seen or heard of. Breitling makes it, and it's on uh, their uh, more the quartz line, but they have a uh, magnetic pusher technology. So essentially, the case is entirely sealed, and the chronograph is activated via magnets. But again, that one is uh, on their quartz movement, so it's only going to work for that. Something to think about, maybe to save you some money. Yes, it looks great. It's got a lot of toys on this, but this might be something that you want to avoid if you're going to plan on using it underwater. Let me know what you think. Thanks.